Hey, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through a graph and a table that you will find in Excel that we've already completed, and we want to bring them over to a Word document that's complete with letterhead, kind of working toward what our final exam will be about in uh, the CIS 101 class. So let's work through it. I have a completed table and a completed graph already done in Excel. Now, one thing I want you to notice is uh, at this point you have a dotted line going down this part, which means that if you were to print just like it is right now, it would not look very well. So let me show you what it would look like. If I go to File and go to Print, notice that it cuts everything off on the graph part especially. So what we want to do is, while we're still in the print mode here, at the very bottom it says No Scaling. We want to change this to reflect Fit Sheet on one page. And When I click on that, it makes everything fit on the page, the table, and the graph. Nothing's cut off now. And I like to have it in this format before I ever take anything over to Microsoft Word. So back at home on the Excel sheet, nothing looks different except that that dotted line is now gone. So in Word, let me show you the Word document. I have a letterhead already done. I have a memo format completed. I have my cursor at this point. Now, I really want my table to come in centered right here on this part of the page. So I can do a control E to center it or just go to home and click on your center tool either way. Now my cursor is in the correct place to accept the table so I'm going to go back to Excel and I'm just going to highlight the entire table from top to bottom. I'm going to right click, say copy, go back to the Word document and I'm going to select not just paste, but actually the one that uh, says picture on it. So click on the down arrow to get some choices there. So the down arrow underneath paste and then go over to picture. And click on that one and that will bring the table in. Now your cursor should be blinking at the bottom row of that particular table. And I want to hit enter a couple times, give a little space in between the table and the graph going in. Now that the graph is also centered, I'm going to jump back to Excel. I'm going to hit escape to make the what I call the marching ants go away from the table and I'm going to activate just the graph which just click once and it activates the entire graph right click on the graph and select copy go back to the word document and I want to paste but I'm going to instead use paste special this time so I'll go under home tab of course paste down arrow and look for your options there is paste special right there click on paste special and of the choices I like the picture PNG version. It just basically changes the graph into a image, into an image. So just click on that one. So okay. Now it may um, not quite fit, but what we can do is just resize the graph a little bit, and then you'll see that it starts fitting a little bit better, a little bit more, uh, maybe a little bit bigger now. Also, um, to make it easier to move around, I prefer because it is a basically a graphic right now. Go up to Picture Tools, go to Format and just select wrap text and select square and that will make it a little bit easier for you to move around and expand move it however wherever you want to move it just kind of keep it nicely even there and at this point we've got the letterhead the memo format the table and the graph and we'll finish off uh, this week we're talking about the analysis paragraph that's going to go at the bottom of the page and we're not going to go beyond one page on this report so um, just realize that so there you go that's what we should have so far for this week thank you for your time